This morning, expect a decision on a different kind of pop quiz proposed for students at Oak Creek High School. The school board will vote on whether students in extracurricular activities could be randomly drug tested. Our Julia Fellow is live from Oak Creek this morning, and she spoke with the superintendent ahead of tonight's meeting. Hi, Julia. Vincent, Susan, good morning to you. And it doesn't even include other students as well. It also includes students who would need to park and get a permit. The problem has been around since Superintendent Tim Culver's first day. Had to bust kids with marijuana. Um, it, that's almost 30 years ago, you know. His tool to stop it may not have even been on anyone's minds back then, but it is now. Culver expects the board to pass random drug testing for students in sports or extracurricular activities tonight. If one student is involved with drugs, there's a problem that we have to deal with. If a student tests positive, they would not be expelled or suspended. Consequences would be filed under the athletic code. Addiction treatment social worker Christine Allstrup sees this as a good idea, but warns the school should be prepared to offer help to students who need it. We don't call people cancer. We don't call them diabetes. We don't call them tumorous. And so these are people who have an addiction, which is a disease. They're not addicts. Nearly a half dozen school districts in southeast Wisconsin already perform some version of random drug testing in their high schools. Pewaukee, for example, randomly drug tests about 13 students a month. Leaders with the American Civil Liberties Union in Wisconsin have been outspoken on this, calling the proposed policy intrusive and demeaning. So if the board passes this tonight at 6 o'clock, it wouldn't take full effect, not even next school year, but the school year in 2019. And they would have to find many other details, including where they would do all the drug testing and which company they would use. There is public comment tonight, and it starts at 6 o'clock. Reporting live in Oak Creek, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4. Interesting debate.